Let's look back to some of the answers to the questions from last week's lesson, The Messiah Worshipped and Kept Safe. Who was looking for Jesus the Messiah? The answer, the Magi. Where did the prophet say the Messiah would be born? The answer, Bethlehem. How did the Magi respond to Jesus' birth in verse 10 and 11? The answer, they were overjoyed, they worshipped him, and they gave him gifts. How did Herod respond to Jesus' birth? The answer is that he wanted to kill him. List all the times God protected and kept Jesus safe. The answer, God warned the Magi not to go back to Herod. God warned Joseph through an angel in a dream to flee to Egypt. Then God told Joseph in a dream through the angel of the Lord to return to Israel. He was warned again in a dream not to go to Judea, but rather to go to Nazareth. In Galilee. Why did Herod want to kill Jesus? The answer He was jealous because he wasn't the legitimate king of Israel. He was given his position by the Romans and he didn't want to lose his position and his power. How do we know Jesus is the Messiah from the chapter? Well, the answer is He is worshipped because He is king. He has brought valuable gifts. Herod wants to kill him. God protected him and his family from Herod and Herod's son. He came to earth as the Messiah and was anointed to save people from sin. He had a purpose and God was protecting him so he could fulfill this purpose. God supernaturally sent a star to lead Magi to Jesus to worship him as Messiah. Prophecies from many years before were also fulfilled, for example, where Jesus was born in Bethlehem. These all show us Jesus is the true Messiah. Let's look at our general questions to help us understand the passage. Is this section talking about God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, or someone else? Well, this passage is talking about Jesus, the Lord or God. Other characters include the Magi, Herod, the chief priests and teachers of the law, Mary, the angel of the Lord, Joseph, and Archelaus. What did I learn about the Trinity? Well, in the case of Jesus, he came to earth as a baby. Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is worthy of our worship and valuable gifts. Jesus was a child and not a newborn baby when the Magi came to visit him. Then what I learnt about God the Father, God controls the stars or supernatural events. God can guide, protect and speak through dreams. God sends angels to deliver his messages. God is all-knowing and knew what Herod was planning to do to Jesus. God keeps his word. All the prophecies were fulfilled. Is there a promise to believe? Well, I didn't find any. Are there sins to confess? Well, maybe we've committed sins of jealousy. Maybe we've rejected Jesus at times. Hatred and jealousy towards others who have things we want or desire. Maybe I don't respond to the Messiah in worship and giving him gifts. Or well, I don't value him as he should be valued. Perhaps I need to confess lying, like Herod did, disobedience towards God's direction or commands. Maybe I've sinned in anger, like Herod did when he committed mass murder. Is there a command to obey? Well, I didn't find any. Is there an example to follow? Well, I can be obedient to God, like Joseph and the Magi were. I can be committed to pursue and seek after Jesus. I can worship him as Messiah and I can give him gifts, including my life. Overall, what did I learn? Well, I learned how amazing God is, that he protected Jesus by guarding the Magi and by guarding Joseph. 
I learned that God is in control. His plans and purposes will be fulfilled. I learned that Jesus is worthy of being pursued and worshipped. And that God is faithful to keep his word. My summary. What stood out to me or what spoke to me? Well, I can either respond to Jesus like the Magi did by worshipping him. Or I can respond to Jesus like Herod did and hate him, reject him and be jealous of him. Where I want to live for me and not for Jesus. How can I memorize what I've just learned? Perhaps I can draw a picture of gold, frankincense and myrrh and then ask myself the questions, am I worshipping Jesus? And secondly, what gifts of value am I bringing Jesus? Am I bringing him my life, my time, my service, my money, my heart, my relationships? How do I go and put into practice what I've learnt? I can choose each day to put Jesus first in my life and live for him instead of living for me. I can worship him with all of my life. Something else that stood out to me was Joseph's obedience. There's a key phrase in the passage. So he got up. He did whatever God told him to do. And in my own life, I need to obey God and do what God tells me to do. How can I memorize this? Well, I can write out and color in the word obey and then stick it up somewhere where I'll see it or put it as a screensaver or wallpaper on my phone to remind myself about obeying God. How can I go and do what I've learned? How can I put it into practice? I can spend time reading the Bible, listening for God to speak to me through it. That's the main way that God speaks to us.